and its dealers present Burr Kilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Politan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Get the television department. Just looking at the reviews. Oh, look at that. <laughs> mm, little RCA Victor 45, huh? Nice. The Gatry. Yeah. In Chicago today. Hmm. Maybe he'll come to see us. That'd be fun, isn't it? Yeah, I wish he would, but I guess he's very busy doing some shows here or something. Yeah. Did he show here today, I guess. Hmm, he's a nice one about NBC. Hmm. Well, I guess we better not read anymore, Al. Well, I'll take it downstairs. Okay. Love to read my billboard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Something's got to be done about the carpet. I'm sick and tired of tripping on it. Everybody trips on it. It's a wonder I have a tooth left. Well, I trip on it too. Not my responsibility. I don't. I don't work here on the stage. I mean, I. I'm a. I'm an actor. I'm talent. You're the impresario, aren't you? Yes. You run things. Yes. You pay the bills, don't you? Yes. Fix the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not have any more shilly shouting. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> I suppose I should. I'm not really responsible for it, though. Let me see. Cecil Bill! Cecil Bill! Cecil Bill, come here over there. Sorry, don't do it, 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 don't <laughs> but isn't that in your department? Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Well, maybe it is in my department. Oh, I'll try it.
wonder. Keep from trimming. You want a shingle or with the clippers? <laughs> He was a little dull. I'll help you. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil Bill, why don't you take it downstairs somewhere and I'll, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll put up a little sign so people know the carpet's not there. You take it down, maybe we can get a new carpet. Frank! Yes? Mending the carpet! You're doing what? Mending the carpet! Well, it's about time. We took it off. You did? Yeah. Gee, I had a certain way of just coming in so I wouldn't trip over it. Now I'll probably break a leg. Oh, no, you won't. Are I you forgot sure? to sign up there. Well, that's a very thoughtful thing to do. Just reading a billboard by Arthur Godfrey. In Chicago. Yes, he was in town today. Isn't that nice? But you? No, I didn't see him, Cook. I know he was extremely busy. Did he show from here? And, I'd like to and see him. I think he made uh, probably some personal appearances, too. Would have been fun, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe sometime when he comes back, he'll come to visit us. Would be nice. And then maybe you can go to New York and see him sometime. I'd like to sometime. He's very much like you, Kukla. Is he? Yes, he is. He's got a big nose? No, no, he's very handsome. He really is. But he's extremely sensitive. He likes pretty music and... And uh, he likes uh, the arts and the theater. And uh, he's very considered of, of uh, performers, just as you are. I think you two would have a great deal in common. I'd like to meet him sometime. Well, I'm... Oh, hello, dear. Hello, Beulah. How are you? Fine, and you? Great. That'd be great. No. Hello there, Coop. Hi. You see me today. Oh, oh, yes. Feeling fine today. Everything all right? Yes, me, Beulah. What's this? Well, we just uh, removed the carpet. Uh, it's going to be fixed. Oh, that's good. It's about time. Yes, it certainly did need fixing. Yeah, I fell and almost broke his tooth. Oh, that's good. No, no, that's bad. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, that's a shame. Shame. What are you, you going to do this weekend, Beulah? Pardon? What are you going to do this weekend? What weekend? Oh, this. <laughs> she starts out so well and gets off the track. I know, I know. This weekend. Tomorrow and so. Oh, I don't know. Thought maybe you and I could go on a little trip. Oh, that'd be nice. All right. Broomstick? 
If you like. Oh, it's perfect weather for that. The leaves falling down, the wind is blowing. Oh, my! That'd be great. Beautiful day today, wasn't it? Be fine, just Wait, fine. Did mm -hmm. you fly today? Mm hmm? Did you fly today? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. Mm hmm. It was fine. I had a good time. Where did you go? When? <laughs> today, Beulah. Well, I was right here. Did a little knitting. You said you did a little flying. Oh, no. Did I? Well, that's what you said. Well, I must have. Well, that's too bad. Oh, Beulah. <laughs> we used to have such wonderful talks together. Yes, I know we did, didn't we? Mm hmm. Well, what happened to them? Oh! Well, we can have some more. How about tea later? Maybe. Well, that's fine. Love to meet you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you somewhere. Nice to meet you. Would you uh, like to walk downstairs? I'll guide you. Oh, what's this? The ladder. We, I thought we might better use the ladder instead of the stairs without the carpet. Certainly. How old is it? Oh, this is fun. Great. Hey, this is fine. Bet you'll be back up again in a minute. This is real great. You like it? Yes. Real great. <laughs> Would that tell you? Say, oh, again. doesn't look like downstairs to me. No, 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 Bill. You've been down and up again. Have I? Well, <laughs> isn't that the one, though? Well, I'll see you later, kids. Whoop! What? Whoop! Say! What? Oh, no! Say, oh. seem to be caught, don't I? Say! Last on me, isn't it? Oh, Beulah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Beulah. How are you going to come on? I'll, 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 I'll get in here. <laughs> well, goodbye, all. <laughs> I'll fix it, Fred. It's all right. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> Did it hurt? Hmm? Did it hurt? No. Beulah! What? Hello there! Oh, hello. Oh, I... <laughs> How did you get up? Hmm? How did you get back up here? Hey, where well, else come up? Gee, it's too bad you're stuck in there, Fran. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm out here, Beulah. How'd you get loose? How, I wasn't in there. But I will be in a minute. That's too bad. Cooper, you better... This is about all I can take. I'm never going to fix the carpet, the stairs, or anything. I can't get out of here. Why don't you let me help you? <laughs> Watch it, Beulah! <laughs> all I'm trying to do is help, but he doesn't want any help. You don't have to help me. I mean, you don't have to tell me. Watch your step. <laughs> oh, dear. Shall I help you? No, it's all right. Well, you can't stay like that. I think I can manage it. What's going on? Hello, cutie. Hello, Cooper. How are you? I'm fine, but... That's good. Cooper's in the ladder. Here. Hmm? Oh, here. <laughs> well, uh, what are you doing in there, Buster? Well, he didn't want to get in there. I like to play here. <laughs> he always stays in there. Say, that's a silly thing to do. Say, you might... That's dangerous. Here, I'll help you. No! He doesn't want us to help out. He doesn't... I, I just want everybody to leave me alone. Just... Go away and leave me alone. Well, come on, now. Okay. You better go. What happened to the carpet? Oh, well. <laughs> I wonder how fast I can make it without the carpet. I'll try. Here I go. One, two, three. <coughs> oh! Oh! Yes, sir. I feel better now. I hope so. He just, he just got me. I just, I, I can't understand you. I had a long talk with her yesterday. I don't know either. It's the fall season. The closer it gets to Halloween, the worse, worse she gets, really. Fran, how'd you like to try running down the stairs with me? Okay. Not... No, don't you do it. Let's get even with somebody. Never mind. Get even with somebody else. Oh. 
I'm so worn out. Coop, you that's shouldn't try things like that. That's uh, that's not in your department. You shouldn't have to fix the carpet. I know I shouldn't, but Cecil Bill wouldn't do it. Well, I know, but then there are people who fix carpets, and they know all about them. Oh. And something that's just a little job becomes very difficult for someone who knows nothing about it. And I don't know how to fix carpets, and I don't believe you do. That needle was kind of dangerous, too. Yes, it was. Well, I should let you know, the carpet maker do that. Sometime. That's right. Mm -hmm. People are trained to do certain things. That's why uh, a lot of times you have needless accidents around the house. That's true. Try things that isn't smart to try. That's right. But we'll get it fixed, that's sure. We'll get a new one. Well, I guess we'll get a new carpet. That's all there is to it. I made up my mind to the whole thing. We're going to have a new carpet. Well, now. I think it's yeah, about time I we have a new carpet. I think it is, too. Well, we do have one in the, in the, in the living room. Yes, I know. A very nice one. Did you see it? Mm-hmm. Let's take another look at it. All right. My goodness. <laughs> Somebody must have put the ICA 5045 right on the carpet there. Must be Ross again. Yeah. He loves to hear it so. Yes, he does. That's such a wonderful little record player, you know. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he has it attached to. Let's follow that cord and see. All right. Must be plugged into something, because it's... It, oh, of course. Shoot. Sure. Little RPA Victor table radio mm -hmm. there. That's a cute one, too. Let's go back to the 45. He, wonder what he's playing there. I don't know. Vaughn Moreau over there on the left. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he's playing. But I, I, I bet he's playing some classical. Maybe he's playing some wedding marches. <laughs> Do you suppose? He could. I noticed him marching up and down the hall the other day. To the to the long grip? Yes. I bet I bet he, that's what he's doing. He was a little out of step too. Yeah, he was he? Well, you know, it's kind of hard on him these days. You know, it's only a week away now. Yes, I know. I guess he got kind of tired of it because I noticed he ran over and punched the little button that made the little changer operate. Did he? Mm hmm Get a change of pace. <laughs> Oh, the world's fastest changing. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking that might be an awfully nice gift for Russ, for the, for for Russ and Helen for their wedding. Will RCA Victor 45 record player? Wouldn't that be cute? Why, it's just what we'll do. I think so, cause and then we could give them a whole collection of those wonderful little seven-inch records, the one that play as long as the ordinary 12-inch records. Mm -hmm. You know, particularly I'd like to do that because someday I'm going to tell you all about Fran, uh, technically. But you know that each little little record, little RCA Victor 45 record, mm -hmm. is a distortion free. Yes, I knew that. Entire, over its entire playing surface. Mm -hmm. You see, sometimes, well, in the old-fashioned way of recording, as, as the needle would get towards the center of the record, you'd have distortion. Oh? That was because of, 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 of the, the revolutions, you see, and, uh. then, and also the way the grooves were put in there. Mm -hmm. But with the little 45s, you see, they, they, they have made, just eliminated that entirely so that it's, it's just as clear uh, all the way through. Isn't that wonderful? And distortion-free. Absolutely. And that little record player is only twelve ninety five. Yes, I know. Oh, you know that. <laughs> I keep telling you things like Well, that. let's just uh, let's mention it to the other members of the troop and see what they right. think about you it. You think that'd be good? Well, I I think it's a perfect solution. I think they'd love that. All right, we'll do it. I, I, I Helen Perry would love that too. I think that'd be I know. Awesome. I know he would. That'd be great. Well, I'm going to be nice and kind and leave this up now. Well, you do that, and I'll. Uh, Take care of some things I have to do and call me. Come back because I've got an idea a little later. Oh, you have? Well, mm -hmm. just call me when you're ready. Right, I'll Pardon. What's a silly sign, isn't it? Really? It's ridiculous. Well, no one up here. I guess I'll go downstairs. Well, off I go. Oh! Who got it this time? <laughs> Cook? Who was it? Yes. Russ? Jack Fashionado? Les? Who? You're a music teacher. Oh, good for her. <laughs> oh, she never misses anything, that girl. <laughs> That'll uh, improve her tones. <sighs> You'll be able to spread her ribs better. 
I hope so. She hasn't even left. <laughs> Coop, I, uh, I was uh, wondering what you were going to ask Fran about. Uh, you said you had a surprise or something, and I was wondering if we couldn't, uh, if we couldn't uh, sort of share uh, surprises, and you could tell me. Couldn't you? Because <laughs> I'm your old friend. Hmm? <laughs> You're my old friend that wanted to pull me through the ladder. Oh, I just wanted to help you. You laughed at me. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. Now tell me the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cook! <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. This is too much. This is a silly day. You should never have taken that carpet off the stairs. You better put it back just as it is. You better get a new stairs. Maybe we could get an elevator. That's an idea. We could have an elevator. We could run it up. That's a sensational idea. Just like they have in the big theaters. We'd have a great elevator here. Hydraulic. Yes, sir. I can see it now. <laughs> Bring the elevator down. Oliver Dragon is ready to go on. <laughs> <laughs> then I step into it, stooping a little so I won't knock off my high top silk hat. And I get into the elevator and I say, how many minutes do I have, Jarvis? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Jarvis? He's the one that works the elevator. Oh, how do you do, Jarvis? No, he's imaginary. Oh, I thought he was an elevator operator. Oh, coop. <laughs> and I say, he says to me, he says, uh, how many minutes, sir? Uh, three minutes till you go on, Mr. Dragon, sir. And I say, full speed ahead. Ahead? No, that wouldn't be right. Uh, full speed up. And then up I go, and I just rise like this. Just at that moment, the curtains open, and the thousands of people break into a tumultuous applause. <laughs> and I go on with my act. That'd be great. I could go down the same way, too. Yeah, I think maybe you could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, what's the surprise? Well, you remember a little song we heard the other day? Which one? Kiss in the Dark? No, no. Yes, sir, she's my baby? No. Um, maple leaf rag? No! The hopscotch polka? Oh, I like that. That was a real cute one. Well, why don't you and I and Fran do it, and do it in, in costume, and for a particular reason? How come? Well, did you know that, well, <laughs> our good friend Gene Rayburn had something to do with that song. He did? You mean our uh, friend of the Dix Jockey in New York? <laughs> That's right. Say! Well, let's do a special thing for him. You go, uh, you go tell uh, Franny, and I'll get my costume on. <laughs> Miss Alice? Yes. Three minutes. Oh, oh just a minute. <clears throat> do I have time to put my costume on? Certainly, uh, Miss Allison. Three minutes. The elevator's waiting for you. All ready to go up. Is that your costume, Annie? Nope. Let's do the song now. Let's hear the tumultuous applause. Thank you. Thank you. That's cute. Like that? Oh, that's Is that all right? Yeah. It's always. Oh, good. It's all I could find. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you look wonderful. You have my hat on. I know. If I would have had that one on if I'd found it first. Oh, I like that one. That's cute. Do you? Yeah. Okay. You're cute. <laughs> well, I have it on at the right angle. Oh, I think it's very uh, charming. That Joseph. It wouldn't let me borrow his cap. Oh, wouldn't he? Come on, Kook! Let's go! <laughs> You're looking to the, at the world through rose-colored glasses now, aren't you? I thought maybe that they didn't put that light in yet, have they? Well, I think so. Now, wait a minute. Hold tight. <laughs> Let's do that again. Okay. Where's Franny? Where's Franny? Where's Franny? <laughs> You are so silly. It's so wonderful today. <laughs> oh, aren't you the one? I know. You are no. handsome. <laughs> Come on. You look great. I prefer it this way. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Well, shall we start into the hopscotch poker? Right. Uh. <laughs> oh. Hop a little on your little left shoe. You hop a little on your 
your right one too. You tick a button like the Scotch kids do. It's a hot, hot Scotch hot polka. Oh, you hop a little on your little left shoe. You hop a little on your right one too. You don't mind bouncing like a kangaroo. It's a hot, hot Scotch hot polka. No, that's your button. Go on. It's in and out among the maple trees. It's up and down and then you wave your knees. Your head goes bobbing in the morning breeze to the hop, hop, scotch, hot, 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 just right because it was it was his part and I didn't wasn't supposed to sing it oh and Gene Rayburn will never speak to us again oh he will so too. I'm going to my room no oh, come, come here what do we do we you want to have time. a whirl at it again no 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 later oh kook goodness <laughs> sake well I don't feel very scotch now I kind of worn out I think maybe I'll take this little what is this called? A little cotton or something? I don't know. So I'm going to take that down. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on the steps so we won't all stumble. Capital! <laughs> <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. Ollie, oh, come on now. <laughs> let's go somewhere. You're so much fun, I hate to leave you. All right, let's go on and have a real good time. All right. But before we go, I have just one thing to say. Tui, tui. No! <laughs> what? In television! It's RCA. Victor. <laughs> Tilstrom speaking. To quote uh, Miss Beulah Witch, I might say, uh, Hello, kids. It's been great, great, great being with you. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Group Lafran and Ollie came to you from Chicago. <laughs>